just a few um, ideas about how you think differently about search. Um, for starters, I search, um, I don't try to do a broad search. I've just found that the golden days of really great subject indexing of content are gone. Um, there's a lot more content available and it's not indexed as well as it was when it was, everything could be carefully hand designed and filigreed and, and polished by professional indexers um, before we, you know, and, and hierarchical ser um, search, uh, hierarchical thesauri and that sort of thing. We just don't have, we don't have a lot of that in a lot of the searching that we do and certainly not um, in, in say the, the profession, the business searches where we don't have that same kind of hierarchical uh, understanding of the world. So what that means is I think we need to instead figure what are the most likely places to find this information and then dig more deeply. So I find that for, for a lot of the searches that I'm doing, I identify, you know, the key magazines and then I limit my search just to those sources or something like that. I figure out how can I drill deep in here rather than counting on indexing to do good limiting by industry or by topic. Um, another thing that I've I, I uh, have started using in the professional online searches, which just continues to surprise me, is gray literature. All the things that aren't traditional published things. So um, these are white papers and slide decks and you know all the stuff that's not traditionally published by a publisher. Both Factiva and ProQuest Dialog, they have source, um, source type listings and there are ways that you can limit by uh, by gray, gray lit format. This is not a comprehensive search of gray literature by any means, but I sometimes find it a great way to identify key sources of gray literature. And then I know that I can go to that organization's website directly to go find more. So for example, um, these are the, uh, the source type lists. Let's see, the left one is dialogue and the right one is Factiva. Um, where you can limit by things other than published, you know, periodical literature. So you can limit to blogs and, and, and podcasts or dissertations or uh, government sources or think tanks or working papers. So there are a lot of not, and, and for when you're limiting by those types, you can do a broader search and probably get more useful information because it's a, it's a fairly small data set that you're looking at. Yeah.